in this week's edition of the Business Review, how a hobby became a thriving business. It's the story of Almost Eden. Here's Deidre Thomas. Plants save me. Usually, it's the other way around, where plant enthusiasts are nurturing their green leafy companions to stay alive. But for CEO of Almost Eden, Shanika Dennis, she was shocked to discover the therapeutic benefits of plants. In 2020, I was going through depression. Depression is real. Depression is real and it's dark. And um, I found this little ferns cute little two-leaf fern and I placed it on my kitchen counter and the mere fact of just watching it grow and nurturing it I realized that it was pulling my anxiety away um, the stress and just the everyday fatigue and so I got one more and another one until the entire kitchen counter was filled with plants. Her passion for plants has blossomed into a thriving business where she sells tends to and cares for over 50 plants in her greenhouse. I post plants every week or every two weeks. If you see a plant you like, send me a DM, give you prices and we talk about how we can get it to you. So we have foxtail ferns, which are my absolute favorite. They work in every space really. Um, they're easy going, so you can have them in direct sun or you can have them in a shaded area, water once maybe per week. Um, we have anteriums in here, we have palms, we have alocasias, my favorites. Um, we have calatheas and we also have hoyas in here. It's a vast amount of plants. But her green thumb doesn't stop there. I do floral arrangements for weddings, graduations, funeral wreaths, um, corporate companies. With each leaf she nurtures, each arrangement she crafts, the business that began with just one plant and a pot costing 4,000 Jamaican dollars has flourished by more than 80% with aspirations of further growth. For the next two to three years, I'm open to acquire some land, um, different services, fertilizers, landscaping, and eventually welcome the community into my, my business where I can offer employment to some of the youths here. From COVID-19 to losing plants and pest infestation, the young entrepreneur has weathered a few storms. Climate change for me um, affects everything. Um, it's, it's the sun when it should be raining, you know. Um, I have more days when it's hot, so instead of watering maybe once per week, now I have to do it like three times per week, which sends the water bill up. And this plant lover has one simple advice for those thinking about entering the business. Find a plant that is easy to maintain. Sansevieras, ZZ plants, you can start with succulents or hawartias. And um, just by that, you see how that works out for you and then you branch up. For the Business Review, I'm Deidre Thomas.